Hey folks, good evening from a very stormy New Zealand. If you've been watching the news over the past few days, you'll have noticed. Well, the news keeps rolling in around version 2.1 for the ASIA, which will be released very, very soon. I have more news for Sony mirrorless camera owners with some additional cameras being added for the public beta. So, as always, let's dig into the details. Hey everybody, my name's Simon and welcome to Astroworks, your friendly guide to the world of astronomy, full of hints and tips on how to get the best out of this amazing hobby. So I said I'd do a short update later this week as I knew there was more news coming regarding the list of Sony supported cameras coming in 2.1. And I now have some additional updates regarding the list of those cameras that are coming, which is going to add a level of excitement for some Sony owners on release day. Again, like before, I'm going to caveat this video. All of today's video was shot with 2.1 release still in closed beta with the test team. It's possible that certain changes may be made to the final cut depending on the outcome of final testing. So do take that into account when watching today's video. Nothing is 100% until testing is completed and we make the final production release. As you're aware, 2.1 is going to bring something that's been requested for some time and that is Sony mirrorless camera support. Now I've gone over that list of cameras planned in my earlier video, but some breaking news appeared in the last day or so and ZWO have added a few more cameras to that list, making I think 18 Sony cameras now in total they plan to roll out in 2.1, which is an impressive update by any measure. So let's recap that list and I've created a small infographic as I can't keep up with a list of models either, but here we go. So let's start on the A7 series. Supported in 2.1 will be the A7, the A7C, the larger A7 III and A7 IV models. In the A7R series we have the A7R, the A7R2, the A7R3, and the A7R4, and the A7R4A. For the 7S series, we have the A7S and the A7S3 models. We have a new camera coming in and the A5000 joining the list, and in the A6000 series, the A6000, A6100, A6400, the newly added A6500, and the A6600 will all be supported. And not forgetting the ZV E10 APS-C camera, I think in total that's 18 models being added to mirrorless camera support for release 2.1, which is quite an addition to the supported range of non-ZWO cameras. I've already tested my A7 III and ZV E10 successfully, and it's really nice to finally see these fabulous cameras coming to the ASI Air. As I said, there are some specific camera settings required for these Sonys, and I'll cover those off in a short video later this week in more detail. They can be a little bit complex depending on what model you're using and there are some specific settings around external PC usage for example. So that's great news for Sony owners in version 2.1 and that'll add a large number of new mirrorless cameras to the supported list. Don't forget the rest of the changes in 2.1 that I outlined in my last video like the EAF step size updates and much more. So if you missed that I have linked it above. Uh, do go and check out that list of exciting things coming very soon to the public beta. Uh, news will be announced very soon, so keep watching places like the ZWO ASI Air Facebook page. And do watch out for the video on those Sony settings too. As always, we hope you liked today's video. Very short, but very informative, I hope. And do give that like button a thump if you want to see more of this kind of material. And as always, we highly recommend you subscribe so that we can notify you of new content as soon as we publish it. Until next time, not so clear skies from here in New Zealand.